Hello and welcome to the Not Too Shabby Shop channel. This is Susan here from Making Crafts and today I am back with the December box of the month and this one has a woodland theme and you could use this one for Christmas but you could also use it for just the winter time. So I am making a Christmas present with it but this present could be used for the winter time as well because I may not see this person until um, after Christmas and so she can still use all of these items um, during the winter season. So first I want to show you the kit. I'm sure if you've been watching the channel, you've seen this kit announced earlier this week or earlier last week, excuse me. And so I am just going to go through it really quickly just in case you've missed any of the other videos. And so this month, like I said, it's a woodland theme. It's very cute. And so you get three stamp sets. You get the uh, Dear Friends. You also get the Snuggle Weather. And if you check out my channel, yesterday I put out a video showing how I created some bookmarks using some of these stamp sets and the paper pads. So I will leave a link below to my channel so you can check that out as well. And here is the Cozy Forest Friends. You also get two packs of ephemera and they match the pack packs of paper that you get. So you get one six by six, 24 double-sided sheets of the Snow Critters paper pack. And then you also get phones in winter. And so I mainly used phones in winter and the stamp sets yesterday to create some bookmarks on my channel. But So today I have a project showing you how I use the ephemera pack as well as the Snow Critters paper pack. And I have, you can see I have quite a bit left over still to create a loaded pocket. Now I am going to show you all the things that I put in this pocket and then you can check out my channel. And on my channel today I'll show you how I made the loaded pocket. And I will try to show you how I made most of the items in the pocket, or I can explain some of them without showing you. So first off on my channel, I'll show you how I decorated up the pocket. And so I've just sewn this pocket together, but if you do not use a sewing machine, you can just glue it together. You don't have to sew it. So I'm really enjoying making bookmarks this month. So I made another bookmark to match it. And I, do, I think I need to go back and just put a little bit of glue right in here so these little ribbons don't come loose. So here is a book, the bookmark I made using the Snow Critters set as well as the stamp from, let me see which stamp set that was from. That one is from the Cozy Forest Friends stamp set. It's no winter, it's too cold when you have enough love. So I've just made another bookmark to match the loaded pocket. I've also taken one of the ephemera pieces and made a paper clip. So you can see on the back, I've just covered it with a little circle. I also found this at Walmart. I'll have to show you the pack. Let me see if I can get them all together because I've took some of them off. But you've got this little bear here and also all of these little critters. And I thought that this looked so much like this month's um, stamp sets and the whole theme for this month. And they've got the little sweaters on like the little guys do in the stamp sets. So I thought this would be perfect to add to the pocket. So for this pocket, I'm adding the little bear. And then I've also created just a paper clip with a ribbon and I've just tied a little ribbon on. This was a piece of scrap ribbon that I had left over from another project. I've also made a little pinwheel and I will show you on my channel how I created this. Let me get it in view, how I created this and I've just added it to a paper straw. And these paper straws you can get at the Dollar Tree and here's what they look like. Oops, I'm about to dump them all out. So these are the ones that they had at my Dollar Tree, but I'm sure there are different ones at different Dollar Trees. So I thought the turquoise was the best to go with this paper pack. I've also just added in a candy cane, and I think I'll come back. I'm going to look at the store and see um, what all I could add to it. A lot of people that I, friends of mine have a lot of food allergies and things, so I have to be careful what I add to it. I also just have a little notepad, and you can get a whole pack of these either at Walmart or at the Dollar Tree. And so I thought those colors looked really good with this. So I've added the little notepad and then I've created a little card and I didn't add a sentiment yet because like I said, I don't know if this will be a Christmas present or if I'll give it after Christmas. So I'll add the sentiment onto it after I decide or after I know when I'm going to give it. And so here is the actual pocket. And so what I've done is I've just stitched around here, around the edge and you could do the same. You could just glue yours and so I've just used three sheets of paper and I'll tell you in my video what size because I can't remember at the moment what sizes I used. And then I've just made a little paper rosette using 
the um, six by six paper. And so I'll tell you my video how to do that. And then I've also popped up one of the images here just using some foam tape. And this is a stamp from the stamp set. Let me see which one. This says Friends Forever, and it's from the Dear Friends stamp set. So I thought that was cute there. So head on over to my channel and check out the tutorial on how to create all these items. And I'm not really sure if I'll be adding anything else to the pocket other than maybe some other snacks. But um, I really loved all this paper and how it all goes together to create a cute gift. And it doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas. Even though it has the mittens and the different little sleds, you do that all winter long. You know, you have the snow sleds and you have um, mittens and everything. So I thought that this will be great for someone to use, you know, throughout the winter. And I thought this is, I love putting these down in flowers, like, you know, artificial flowers. Or putting it down in like a little vase of some sort. So, and putting, putting it sometimes with my tear tray in, you know, one of the containers on it. So, I thought that would be cute to add in. This is a Christmas ornament, but it could be used for other things as well as a charm onto a journal or anything. And then the bookmarks, I love using things like this in my planner. And um, so, that's why I added these here because I thought this would be great for planners. Well, I hope that you will check out the tutorial on my channel. And I will link below to my channel and to the tutorial. And be sure to check out yesterday's video on my channel as well where I show you how I make the bookmarks using this set. And that video is part of the Not Too Shabby Shop hop. So be sure to check out all the videos in that hop and be sure to enter the giveaway before it ends. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.